Today, two heartbroken families avoid a lengthy criminal trial. Valerie Bray pleaded guilty in the 2015 death of runner Cameron Bean. News Channel Line's Catherine Marchand tells us about the tearful day in court. Instead of spending hours or even days in a courtroom, Valerie Bray was there for just a few minutes today. Originally, she was charged with vehicular homicide and leaving the scene after hitting Cameron Bean with her car. How do you plead? She pled guilty to a less serious charge, criminally negligent homicide. Bray hit Bean while he was on a run last year. He died two days later. Died doing exactly what he loved, what his passion was. Cameron Bean's mom, Lisa, says he loved God, people, and running. He even competed professionally and was training with his father for Ironman Chattanooga. Bean was by himself running on Moccasin Bend when Bray crossed the middle lane and hit him from behind. She told police that the sun was in her eyes and she never saw him. Today, there were tears in her eyes as the state presented the facts of the case. Extremely emotional for her. Bray sobbed outside the courtroom, surrounded by family and her lawyer, Bill Speak. He says Bray is a good, hardworking woman who happened to be involved in a very tragic situation. She did stop. She did look, thinking she hit a deer, but unfortunately it wasn't a deer. It's harder every single day. Today's hearing doesn't give Bean's family any closure. They say these 14 months have been unbearable and they'll miss him for the rest of their lives. The day he was hit is the day we lost him and our family will never be the same. Bray will be sentenced in February. She faces between one and four years in prison. In Hamilton County, I'm Catherine Marchand reporting. Police say cyclists found Bean's body in a ditch after noticing a running shoe on Moccasin Bend Road.